This is part one of my journey through time and space. I begin this entry in my captain's log by going back in time, starting from January 2023, and as memory serves, offer an account of my activities of the past few months, January, February, and March, to present day. In honoring my late bride's wish for me to continue my life and travel the USA without her, I prepared to transition out of my beloved 17-year-old Thor class C-31 fun mover into a travel trailer I was looking to buy. At the time, I was driving a 2020 Honda Ridgeline, but I totaled it in mid-December 2022 in a car accident, all my fault. I then purchased a Black Edition 2023 Honda Ridgeline with all the bells and whistles and then added more bells and whistles and started my, my research to select and purchase a new RV travel trailer that I would pull it with. My oldest son, Aaron, my daughter, Sarah, and her three children, my grandchildren, all who were living with me and my late bride of 46 years, these past five years, also prepared to find a place of their own to live in. This forced activity was because I was trading in the Garage Mahal, as we lovingly named it, and our collective home for the past five or so years for my new travel trailer that I alone would be living and traveling in. At the end of January 2023, I bought a 21-foot 2023 Keystone Springdale Mini and tricked it out with off-grid solar power setup that included an inverter, two lithium batteries, and two 200 watt solar panels installed on its roof. To further enhance my off-grid electrical capacity, I added Bluetti AC200 Max 2048W solar power generator and three matching 200 watt solar panels to charge it with when off-grid. I also installed a Stromberg travel tray over the RV tongue. Don't know why, but it fits Humpy's profile to a T. For safety and towing, I upgraded to an anti-sway bar tow hitch setup, and then I splurged on all the comforts of home, outfitting it with everything I needed, and none of which I didn't. To admit to another rookie mistake, I lost one of the two sway bars and had to spend 180 more to buy a replacement. I spent the next three months, February, March, and April, living in it, working out the kinks, and finalizing my travel plans. Since my travel trailer, Mr. Humpy, as I affectionately named it, was new to me, I spent most of February and all of March adjusting to my new living arrangements and further further shaking it down. New RVs can also have technical problems that need to be resolved, as I discovered. For example, right out of the gate, I experienced electrical and plumbing issues that needed to be fixed. I also experienced a flat tire that needed to be replaced on my travel trailer. Again, my fault. I ran over some trash in the road that tore a hole in the sidewall, requiring roadside assistance and tire replacement. 